the time. Okay, thank you. Uh, good evening. This is the uh, June 26, 2019 meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeals. Um, Mr. Secretary, the first case. Lombardi. Okay, Lombardi is a, ex a request for an extension. Uh, anybody here on the Lombardi case? No. Okay. Um, they've had extensions before, and apparently... You might want to mention it. Uh, Mr. Chairman, they've had some. They've had a number. There's another application on for this same property later on Very on the general. agenda. So yeah. I, I don't, you know, I don't know. Oh. Well, this is for the. This is, this for, is just for an extension. I know it's for the extension. Yeah. I just don't, and it's not related to the variance that's on the agenda. So how do you want to handle that? But they should be here. You might want to put that over or, or wait until they he come did, here to do he the did extension. Say he was going to be here. He is. If you have any, if the so board we should put the questions. extension over until we'll put the extension over until they get they get here. We'll do them both at once. Right, that makes okay. sense. Okay. All right. Okay. Next extension. Galapagos properties. I think are they showing? I think they're not. I think I heard they're not showing. They're not here either. But they, you know, you don't need to. They don't need to be here for an extension. We, we can handle that. Um, they had they had already grant, had an extension granted to them. Uh, they had some problems with the architect and the contractor. Um, some work has been completed. Um, apparently, the assistant building inspector was there, and yes, they're up to up they're to stuff with what's been done. They're passing their inspections. Yes. Okay. Um, the problem is they haven't asked us how much of an extension they want. So I guess it's up to us to make a guess. Is this is this anything? the first extension? It's the, the agenda says the first extension. Mm -hmm. I would just grant the typical. Usually, usually we give them a six month. They're, they've already gotten their building permit in there. They're they've got some work done already. They've started the job. Apparently, they keep their, the stuff that they've done is according to code in the past. So right. it's not a problem. They just need more time to finish. You know, so I, haven't, I haven't been to the site or anything, but do you think six months is sufficient? Yes. If they push it, it should be. Okay. Well, I'm going to make a motion that we grant them a six month extension. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Six months is granted. Okay. Okay. Bradley. Good evening. I'm Mary Scott, the architect, representing the Bradleys. Um, we are here to request a front yard setback variance so we can build a portico on a new stoop. Um, the Bradley House was built right up to the 40-foot setback. Um, as you can see from this picture, it's a very plain house, and the desire is to make the front more attractive and more welcoming. By adding a portico, we're also going to do some uh, uh, shutters and some additional architectural features. So in order to build the portico in the stoop, uh, we need a reduction from 40 feet to 34 feet for the portico and from 40 feet to 32 feet for the new front steps. We feel it's in keeping with the character of the neighborhood and will not have any negative effects. Have you heard anything from any of the neighbors? Nope. Is there anybody here to speak to this application from the audience? Board members, anything? Before we go any farther, Mary, I do know the ropes, but I, I was a little, I'm, you know, I'm not supposed to sit in the seat. This, <laughs> I've been, I've been sequestered here tonight, but I, I was remiss in not announcing before we started the meeting that there's only four members here tonight. Okay. We're a five-member board. You still need three people for an approval. Uh, tie voters of denial. If you have any problem with that, we'll postpone you till our next meeting. Hopefully, we'll have a full board. If you don't have a problem, we'll continue. We do not have a problem. And that goes for everybody else out there. I'll make a motion that uh, we approve the... Oh, Mr. Chair, you just need a motion to yeah, close the public hearing. Oh, okay. yeah. Move to close the public hearing. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, I'll make a motion. motion that we approve the 
application by Nicholas and Catherine Bradley, uh, 164 Castle Road, for a uh, six-foot front yard variance for the portico and a uh, eight-foot front yard variance for front steps in connection with the renovation uh, for the following reasons. Um, the uh, applicant has uh, demonstrated the necessity for the uh, for the variance, and uh, it appears to be minor. Uh, no neighbors have appeared in opposition. Um, and it will not create an undesirable change or character to the neighborhood or detriment to nearby properties. Uh, no other feasible method is available uh, to achieve the benefit that's being sought. The requested variance is not substantial. Um, and uh, the variance will not have uh, any effect on, or adverse effect or impact on the physical or environmental, uh, physical or environmental conditions on the neighborhood or district. Uh, for those reasons, I move that we approve the application. We would have six months to start, um, a year to complete, and we need a survey, survey please. Uh, on completion. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Passed. Get a variance. Thank you. Secretary. Okay. Uh, Shafroff. Uh, I'm also you're, representing you're Mr. and Mrs. Shafroff, who are here tonight. Um, we are requesting a building coverage variance of 394 square feet, which is 11.6% over the allowed. Um, the Shafroffs did a major, major renovation in 2001 and put much care into the design and landscaping of what they did to their home. Um, currently, their son's graduating from college, and they have a desire to add on to a small den to make it an office exercise area for them on the first floor. And it connects to a large open porch. So it makes it an attractive area for this. Uh, although the addition is only adding 162 square feet, and it improves the room and helps with the balance of the facade, which I'll show you in a sec. Um, because of when I went through the existing conditions and added up all, all the building coverage, including the porches and the deck, we were 394 square feet over. So that's what I'm requesting the variance for. Um, although the building coverage, the, you know, we're requesting building coverage, it's actually a very unique site. And so I want to show you right now. So this is the existing house, and the request is to add this 162 square foot addition on the right side, which we feel actually helps balance the house in terms of height and design. Um, and this is it in plan. As you can see, we have a large porch, which is actually pre-existing when the Shafarovs bought the house. We have a front porch, we have a deck, we have a side porch. All those open porches add almost 706 or over 760 square feet to building coverage. So that hurts us with our small addition. Um, but we feel we have a unique situation here because here's the property surrounded by the yellow. In back of it is what was a farm, 11 acres. and the deep backyards of houses that are on Hayes Cross Road, which are over three acre properties. So although this neighborhood is half acre zoning, we have this expanse in the back. We also have the coverage in the landscaping that the Shafaroffs have done, and that's what I wanted to show in this picture. So you can see on the left side, heavily evergreen screening, this is the view from the street. You can't see the house because the screening is over 15 feet high. And then on the right side, once again, evergreen screening. And then in the back, 
this is open to this farmland, which, and I'll pass this down if you want to look at it more closely. Um, even though this property has been sold and will likely be developed, the area by the Shafroffs is a stream and a pond and wetlands. So it will never be developed. So they're always going to have that buffer. So we feel the design is in keeping with the house, in keeping with the neighborhood, and really has no negative Im impact on the, uh, on the neighbors. So uh, I see there's one letter that uh, was sent in from a neighbor at 15, this place. Uh, and What's the name? Uh, the name is Minces. 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 Minces? Okay. I, I, I wasn't aware of it. Carolyn, can I and see Okay, sorry. Oh, is this is this the neighbor that owns the house next door that's rented out? She's where is fifteen in relation 15 to East Places? Oh, yeah. Okay, so she's just, she doesn't she's oppose, not on the side of the construction, she right? doesn't oppose the construction, she just wants to make sure water's not being diverted. No, but, she's on the other side. But as you can see, actually, right. she's over here. Right, that's what I wanted. She's, <laughs> so, weird. We, she's, she's on this side. On the side that, that Yeah, so we'd not, have to pump it over to get it there. Um, it's not likely that there should be, and, uh, no. and what's the grade of the grading of the property? It's, I mean, as you can see, it's pretty flat. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's, in answer to her question, mm -hmm. there will so be no yeah. no impact at all because we're surrounded, I mean, on her side, you have driveway and this screening. So nothing's happening over here and mm -hmm. it's all protected. Okay. Oh, she's happy. Is there anybody else in the audience that would like to speak to this application? No. Okay. Anybody on the board? Anything else? <clears throat> you want me to take it, Tony? Uh, I can do it or you want to do it. Why don't you do it? Motion oh, to close the public hearing. <laughs> The will be closed the public hearing. That's a good idea. I'll second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Okay. Now you can take it. Yeah. Uh, with respect to the uh, application of warrants and Nancy Shafroff um, for a 394 square foot building coverage variance, uh, I move that we grant it based upon uh, the following the granting of the variance and not create an undesirable change in the character of the neighborhood. No feasible method other than the variance to achieve the benefit uh, they wish to by building on uh, an office exercise room to the right side of their house. Uh, the variance um, is not substantial. There are a number of decks and uh, porches which take up a lot of the uh, building uh, coverage. Um, but. Um, if the variance is granted, there will be no adverse effect or impact on the physical environment. It's very heavily screened, and for those reasons, I uh, move that we uh, grant the variance. A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Six months to start, one year to finish, okay. and, and we need a survey. Okay. okay. Thank you. Now I'll say. How all those in favor? <laughs> Aye. 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 Can you state the square footage again? I think you might have made an error. 394. 394? I thought I heard 494. No, no. 394. Uh, 394. Uh, do, you, do you have any more on here? Too many. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Chertoff? Good evening. I'm Bob Zumwalt, the architect uh, helping the Chertoffs with their uh, application for a, a variance for a shed that they had built about 10 years ago. And at the time, they didn't know they needed a permit, and uh, it was put in the most desirable 
part of the property for a shed that we believe, and uh, it happened to be right up against the property line, about two feet from the property line. So we're asking for a 33-foot variance to keep the shed where it is because we believe that's the best place for it. And uh, there's some photographs of the shed in there, and then there's also uh, a letter from the neighbor on the side of the shed saying that he has no problem with the, the shed being there. It's uh, heavy foliage along the property line, so there's nobody can see it uh, from the road. It's 188 feet from the road. And uh, tucked back in the side there. How long has that shed been there? About 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. Without a permit? Without a permit, yeah. How did it come to pass that we, you came to us tonight? Well, I was doing some work for them on their finished basement that needs a CFO, and uh, they thought that uh, they were going to have to demolish the shed, and it seemed like a shame to demolish it, and uh, they're selling their house, and it's an asset for the house. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, I noticed in the neighbor's letter, um, they indicate they have no reason for concern or objection as to its location. <coughs> Um, and that it's quality construction, uh, and, but they, they do say a few things that, that give give us pause. Only because I'm not sure they are aware that there is no control over those items that they said that they are concerned with, which is uh, the aesthetic uh, condition doesn't change, and that it's only used for storing summer furniture. And those are things that. Obviously, we can't control. Um, are the neighbors here? No, they are. Okay. They were unable to come tonight. Okay. Do they understand that the nature of the, uh, the variance? It's not right. Yeah, they're well aware of it. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody else in the audience want to speak to this application? No. You can see it's in there. I'm looking, I'm looking at the picture. It's so hard that you can't even see you it. You can't even see it. It's, no. well, it's yeah. well screened, I agree. Yeah. Bob, is this on a foundation? foundation or? It's a, on concrete block uh, foundation. Not a, uh, not a fourth foundation. Right. Or, yeah. Yeah. Accessory buildings don't top have to be on a full foundation. Anybody else have any? You okay with this? Okay. I move to close the book carry. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. I'll make a motion that the application of Richard and Corey Chertoff to legalize an existing shed which will require a 33-foot side yard variance uh, side be approved. Rear. Pardon me? Is that a side or a rear? Side. Side. Side, side. side yard. Side. 33-foot side. For the following reasons. Uh, 35. 30, 33, right? Three. You know what my numbers are? Yes. We got to get together here, guys. <laughs> okay, 33 foot side yard variance. Uh, for, approve it for the following reasons. The granting of the variance will not create an undesirable change to the character of the neighborhood. Uh, the benefit sought can't be achieved by any other method. Uh, while this is a relatively large variance in this particular instance, uh, that can be overlooked because of the location of the shed on the property and the amount of screening provided. Uh, for the neighbor, uh, who in fact has written a letter uh, in favor of leaving the shed as it is. Um, there'll be no adverse effect to the physical environment and the conditions of the neighborhood. Um, although it's a self-created hardship, uh, the benefit to the applicant will far outweigh any detriment to the neighborhood or to the uh, town itself. And um, we need any measurements on that, Tom? Do you have Survey was okay, we'll, we'll need an updated survey showing the location of the shed. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll have, uh, well, it's usually six months to start in a year to finish, but it's already there. So <laughs> give us the survey before six months are up. <laughs> right. For those reasons, we should grant. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. You have your variance. Thank you, sir. Um, Lasawa?
tell us who you are and what it is that you seek? I am Annie LaSala, the applicant. Okay. And I'm here for a couple of variances, as demonstrated in the application made. Our attorney could not be here tonight, so I'm here in the event that I can answer any questions. I hope to be able to do so. I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm an amateur myself tonight as the chairman, so we'll be two amateurs. Outside. Okay. <laughs> so we're looking at um, this building coverage variance, um, floor area variance. Rear side, rear side, rear variants, and a side yard variants. That's quite a few, uh, quite a few variants. As well. So I have setbacks, FAR, and yeah. building coverage. Right. Okay. Right. Um, and why is this before the planning board? Why is this application? Has it also been before the planning board? It has, yes, For and they. Reason. Um, I guess because our attorney felt it was. The progression of the application to bring and it the accessory, accessory, accessory apartment. Yeah. Accessory apartment. That's the zone, that's a planning board jurisdiction. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah. So the accessory apartment is already there or you're going to be building it? It was pre existing. Pre existing. And, and then it was taken down and redone in the same space, increased. But it was, from what I understand, it was increased in size? Yes. Um, with a permit or without a permit? Without a permit. So there's, there's the rub. And can you ask, can you tell us why it was done without a permit? It was in dilapidated condition. It was falling down, right. so we just took what we could out and then just realized we couldn't even salvage anything. I mean, I think it was built in the 30s or... Okay. So it was more you, of a danger to leave so it the way it was. you expanded it, though. I'm sorry? You expanded it. Yes, we did. I think a total of five feet to the rear and five feet to the side. I think, give or take. So were you aware that you needed a permit to do to expand? Um, no, we thought we could just put it back because it was pre-existing. The foundation is still there, so we just thought we could put it back, and then all we did was extend the five feet with uh, cement. I think they, they lost their pre-existing non-conforming when they tore it down. Right? That is correct, yeah, yes. So. That, that's the problem. If you had not torn it down completely, then what you'd be asking for would be a, uh, I guess, a minor variance. Um, or, or just to make it a little larger, they, they'd still need a variance. It's still need a variance for you know, all the other coverages right. and for setbacks. That would still need it all. So with a, what you're stating is they took the house down to the foundation. Mm -hmm. They did leave the foundation. Okay. So it, 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 it is a basic, but it is exist a pre-existing. Yeah, I, I, I see where that unfortunately from. lost its legality, but it doesn't change the nature of the the beast. <coughs> well, we've had, you can't expand a pre-existing non-conformity. Right, right. Variance. You, you would exactly. still need exactly. a variance. Yeah, right, right. we understand. That. It's, this is a problem that we have with contractors. Uh, I'm assuming you're cut. You're not doing it yourself. You have a contractor doing this work. There was a contractor, yeah. yeah. We have a lot of problems with contractors come in and they don't, they don't, either they don't know or they don't want to tell the homeowners what they need, what needs to be done with regard to building permits, variances, etc. And they just do the job and get thrown in our lap. And uh, it's not our job to make it hard for you, mm -hmm. but it is our job to try to keep the town in order according to the laws and the, and the uh, codes that we have. Mm -hmm. um, in this particular instance, the, the plan, has the planning board weighed in on this? Yeah. Yes, we've been before them three and, times. And what is their...? Um, they 
passed a resolution, I think, in favor of. In favor. Yes. Is it memo? No, I know. I want to just get it in the record. Yeah. 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 Okay. And we went before them three times. Right. So we addressed all of their concerns and were yeah. able to minimize the impact. There was like um, impervious surface. surface surface issues, right. Right. and so we worked. I know you've reduced some of those impervious yeah. surfaces. And, and can you explain to us um, how your property is situated and, and what type of screening, if, if ever, if any, between your property and the road and your, and your neighbors to give us an idea? Uh, what so the front of the house yeah. is screened by arborvitae and a lot of different kinds of shrubbery. The side of the accessory apartment has a plan for arborvitae screening of like 25 to 30 trees mm -hmm. so that the neighbor on the other side of our property can have the benefit of that. Um, and has your neighbor weighed in on this? Is there any concerns or anything from the neighbors? They've been incredibly supportive because the house prior to us acquiring the property wasn't really maintained. Sure. So they're very happy to see something being done with it because it was in pretty bad condition. I'm looking at one of the pictures. Um, this, this picture, this is the picture. It says exterior photos of pre-existing cottage. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. I'm seeing a generator which does not appear anywhere on uh, the plans that I'm looking at, unless I'm missing it. Is it there? It's in the picture exhibits of, on H1, and the generator is on site. On site. It's, it's Has it ever it's, been it's the, approved? It, it, does it require a variance? It has not been looked at because it is quite a distance from the property line. Oh, it is. Uh, Look on the site plan. Right. Right. It should be on the survey. Mm -hmm. Yes, there was a permit for the generator, yes. There was a permit obtained for the generator. Was there a permit for the generator? Yes. Okay. It looks, just without measuring, just looking at the site plan, it looks like it's far enough from, from the side line that it shouldn't be a problem. Mm -hmm. No, the setbacks were um, adhered to for the generator. For the generator. Mm -hmm. okay. You have an approval for that and everything? So the pre-existing cottage is no longer there? No. This is no longer there? No. What's there is now the framing this. for the new cottage. Yep. That cement foundation is the original foundation? It's the original plus the extension of five feet. Right. Which those pictures should also be part of the file. Right there. Yeah. Okay. So you know, we should note that the in the zone in the planning board's letter to uh, to the zoning board uh, regarding their application that they that they had been reviewing, um, they note that the applicant worked with the planning board to reduce impacts by agreeing to remove substantial amount of pre-existing impervious surfaces. The applicant's cooperation improved the application and reduced the extent of the requested variances. Um, that the planning board supports the applicant's request for the building coverage variance, the rear yard and side yard setback variances, and for the floor area variance, um, which is um, important to note because we, we don't like to exceed uh, floor area variance, floor area standards. Um, but this appears to be somewhat of a unique situation because of the um, the building itself was pre-existing legal at some point. Uh, it's still there, uh, and uh, I don't think you should be penalized necessarily because of the floor area code that was uh, enacted post. Yeah. Right. I appreciate that. So um, the extra five feet that was added on to me, it doesn't seem like it increased the nonconformity to a huge extent because obviously what was there was already nonconformity. It was already nonconformity. Looking at, well, looking at the plan and the sizes and the, the lot size and everything. Mm -hmm. um, 
No, the whole um, property and the structures. Uh, yeah, are, look, looking at your site plan, you're pretty well. You have a lot of stuff on here. You're pretty well covered with a lot of a lot of um, uh, coverage. Um, it seemed to me that if you had come to us originally um, asking for that additional five feet, given the conditions and the location and the uh, the uh, screening, screening, I, I, it's my opinion that the board most likely would have granted anyway, which to me is a big plus uh, to, to grant after the fact. And we don't like to grant after the fact, but sometimes we do because um, the conditions are such that it would have probably been okay. If, and we know you didn't do it maliciously. It's not somebody who was trying to get away with something. It's just an innocent mistake. And uh, I don't believe you should be penalized for that. So I'm, I'm going to weigh in on that and of it anyway. Um, there, there is a, a mention in your attorney's letter <clears throat> to the board um, about certain ameliorating aspects uh, based on the uh, plantings um, uh -huh. that are located on the, on the property. And if possible, should we uh, think about conditioning um, whatever approval we might vote for, uh, vote on for, for with continuing the, the same screening uh, and plantings? The existing screening? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You probably need a plan showing By what's doing there. that, we're going to end up needing a uh, planting plan. Yeah. I, there was a, I think there was mention of that the planning board had a proposed landscaping plan. I'm not sure if that's accurate. Does it show the existing screening on the property as well? I don't know if the existing is showing, but I think the, our attorney had submitted a proposed plan where it was a, a row of screening on the side right. of, the, um, of the cottage. I think that the I, I don't. I don't. I don't really. My personal opinion. I don't know. Know if we need a formal planting plan. I know that's a very woodsy area where you are. Mm -hmm. um, most of the houses are pretty well screened. Mm -hmm. um, there's, a, there's a lot of growth that, uh, to me, I don't think it, uh, anybody would go in there and just clear cut everything. I mean, you never know, of course. But um, what's existing there now? are larger trees, right. so what we're proposing is closer arborvitae to provide real, you know, sound and sight kind of coverage, in addition to what's there. Well, my personal opinion on, on planting is, if it's needed, we should we should impose it. And I don't like to impose it arbitrarily because it, it creates a long-term situation on the property where it has to be maintained even after you sell it or it could mm -hmm. be a problem when you go to sell it that this is a restriction mm -hmm. on your deed okay. and I don't want to do that. It sounds, like, I, it sounds and, like the planning board may already. And the planning board, if the planning board is already into that, so. into that planting situation, uh, we should not try to over, override them or step on their toes. So I, I'm, I understand that it's pretty, pretty well screened and that satisfies me for tonight. Okay. Uh, I can't speak for the rest of the board, but it says that no, is you, me. You've convinced me. I, I don't think there's a necessity in this case. Anybody else? Anything else? Yeah, should ask. Does anybody in the audience like to speak to this application? No, not much of an audience out there tonight. <laughs> okay, I will move we close the public public hearing. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah, we need a motion. I'm going to take on this monstrosity. It's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Let Harvey take it. It's yours. Uh, Harvey will do it. Uh, um, all right. I need that we approve the application of uh, Francis and Annie LaSalle, uh, 48 Quaker Bridge Road, Broughton on the Hudson. <laughs> Okay. We don't get many addresses. No, that is, right. You know where this is. I know, all the way up. It's right at the, right point, at the corner. Right at the river. Right. Mm -hmm. I'd like to live out there. <laughs> okay. Um, for the uh, uh, for the following uh, for the applications for a side yard setback. Uh, let's see what the, it's the planning board's memo actually has a good description yeah. of each of the variances. Okay. So if you have it, it's exhibit A. Um, all right. Uh, the first variance would be for uh, a 
our variance for a 258 foot variance to uh, a building coverage variance to allow 5,365 feet of building coverage where only 5,107 is permitted. Uh, the second variance would be for a um, 1,170.95 square foot floor area in excess of the maximum allowable 5,947.80 for a total subject, total floor area of 7,188.75. Uh, in addition, a rear yard setback variance of 2346.46 feet where 60 are required. Hmm? Excuse me, the, the numbers are so specific. Yeah, 24 feet, okay. It's tough to build to that right. kind of a strictness. 24 feet uh, where 60 are required and a side yard setback of 20 seven feet where 45 are required uh, for the following reasons. Um, in connection with the uh, an accessory uh, building that is under review uh, and approval by the planning board, um, the applicant has demonstrated that um, because of the um, unique nature of the um, accessory building, which was at one point, at one time, a uh, legal non-conforming use, and uh, because of um, the condition of the building and uh, an inadvertent, um, well, it wouldn't have mattered uh, whether it was inadvertent or not, but uh, in the rebuilding of the um, uh, structure in a slightly larger. Uh, size and after it had been totally demolished um, and for those reasons uh, the applicant is required to come before us the planning board has indicated their full approval of the applicant uh, applicants uh, construction and use uh, of the accessory apartment um, and for those reasons um, uh, no neighbors have appeared or written in opposition. The granting of the variances will not create an undesirable change to the character of the neighborhood or a detriment to nearby properties. Uh, no other feasible method is available to the applicant which is likely to achieve the benefit being sought. The requested variances uh, may be substantial, but because of the nature of the uh, ameliorating uh, conditions and plantings and other factors that were mentioned, um, these offset the, uh, the substantial nature of the, the uh, variances. Um, the proposed variances will not have uh, any adverse effect or impact on the physical environmental conditions in the neighborhood. Um, and although uh, the applicant's difficulty uh, was self-created, um, that is not determinative in uh, this instance. Uh, for those reasons, I move that we approve the application. Um, six months to start, uh, a year to complete, not enough. And uh, surveys uh, upon completion, or? Yes, sir. Upon completion. Okay, I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 You have your variance, thank you. Thank you very much. Good night, good luck. Glenn's and Deutsch. Outside, there's I think they're on time. Six months worth of here. Yeah. Before the planning board, six months? No. No. Well, it would have been. I said six glass worth of here. Oh. Really? Yeah. Good evening. Hi. Somebody left their glasses. And Where should we leave them? I'll leave them on the table. Can you tell us who you are and what yes. is it you seek? I am Dan Contelmo. I'm the architect for the project. Okay. And this is Elena Hi. Deutsch Glantz, right? Yes. <clears throat> and she is our client and homeowner. Uh, we're seeking a front yard setback variance 
Uh, where 60 feet is required, we're asking for a five foot variance. Um, it, the house is currently over the setback line by about a foot and a half. So it is a non conforming structure. Uh, two things we're, we're widening the front of the house at the point where it's over the setback line by extending the front porch, which I will show you. So the porch will be over the line by, uh, by a few feet. We're also taking the roof off that section of the house and changing the roof pitch to be steeper so it can be um, a second floor bedroom. And so that would also be potentially over the line. Um, this is the existing house and this is the roof line that I'm describing. This is the revised drawing and Again, you can see the roof gets steeper, but it also gets wider by adding, um, here's the original porch. We're just going to bring it out to in line with this. And so it's in here, and that's what um, is what's going over the line. Let me just show you the, well, you probably have that in front of you as well, but. <clears throat> this, the uh, property line also has a little uh, bend to it. So like even on the second floor here, you can see the property line just slicing through the front, again existing that way. And the same here, this is uh, currently a den being converted into a master bedroom um, bathroom and it cuts through that, but it also it mainly goes through the porch where the, where the bend is the greatest. And this was also a zone where the setback was 50 feet and had been changed to 60 feet at, you know, at some point in time. So the house did comply when it was constructed and then... Right. Are, are you enclosing the porch? No. It's an entry porch. Okay. So in that drawing you have right there, just above your right hand, is the opening to the, to the porch. That... Oh, I yes, see. Yes, right there. The, the thing is, you, you enter it from the perpendicular side, which would be um, one of those bottom drawings. Oh, the one that says proposed left side elevation yeah. is really the way you would approach the door. But I see. So those two pillars, is that? Right. Yeah. Have you had any input from the neighbors on this proposed project? We haven't. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. Oh, you got a thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's that, happy we're doing something. That seems official. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak to this application? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does the board have any questions? Mm -hmm. No. No. Howard? No. You okay? No. Okay. What? All good. Okay. I'm moving to close the public hearing. No second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. It's so ordered. I'm going to take it. Uh, I can take it. You want to take it? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I move that we grant. This is a front yard setback, is that right? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. A five foot uh, front yard variance to um, Ken Glantz and Elena Deutsch at 67 Ludlow Drive in Chappaqua um, for the following reasons. Uh, the granting and the variance will not create an um, undesirable change in the character of the neighborhood or a detriment to nearby properties. Uh, the benefits of my applicants cannot be achieved by any other method. Uh, the requested area variance is minimal. Uh, it was originally a 50-foot setback, now it's 60 feet, so there was a historical precedent to it. Um, it will not have an adverse effect upon the uh, physical and environmental conditions in the neighborhood. There are no neighbors uh, present or have written uh, in opposition to this. Uh, it is not a self created hardship as the property size and shape uh, don't really present a better option. It's a little curve in the front, so it's kind of a, a unique situation. But um, for the, so I move we grant the variance with six months to start, one year to finish, and survey. Yes, sir. And we'll need a survey. Final survey. Final survey. A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. You have your variance. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, let's go back to Lombardi. Lombardi? Oh, yes. You missed you. Oh, sorry about that. I won't get it done for the team. I must have just missed it. Okay. Uh, good evening. So I'm re representing myself for uh, variants for the generator. And you are? I'm the owner, John Lombardi, John Lombardi. property okay. owner. And I have my contractor electrician okay. generator contractor here. And also I'm here about a permit extension for my pool. The pool. Right. right. Yes. Right. Which is getting close, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long road. <laughs> How far away are you on the pool? Uh, the pool is in, the patios are in, the, uh, the pool is functional, the decks are starting tomorrow, um, the, uh, the fence will be starting shortly, and there's a, there's a system that was required that's going to be starting very shortly as well, which is a, uh, it's a filtration system or something of that nature, uh, infiltrator and drainage system that will be going in as well. And really, the only reason is, is well, the, the letters speak for itself. It was delayed because of all their, my daughter's health issues, which are still ongoing, and there's new ones. But uh, we started last uh, year, and we wanted to hit the ground running to finish this year, but the weather was abysmal coming out of the winter into the spring, so we just got terribly delayed. And so you're pretty well along. What do you think you need time-wise to, uh, to finish the pool? Everything should be buttoned up, uh, the whole site by fall, you know, by, by this winter, to final landscaping and things of that nature. I mean, I can't speak for the weather, of course, and things, which is <laughs> never in favor. But well, it, um, it sounds like you've come a long way. I mean, you've got yes, that, there's not much left to be done, and I'm sure you spent a lot of money so far. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> we can finish it up. So if we give you six months, you'll be able to live with that? I don't foresee an issue with that. Okay. Are you using the pool? Yes. We started using it, yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, you should stop swimming and get working. <laughs> yeah. I only get in it late at night when I'm not working. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to add that you don't have a certificate of occupancy for the pool. You should not be using the pool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Okay. Put that fish in it, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there's no fence around it. It's got a temporary barricade. It's got the temporary fence. Legal? It's the legal temporary fence. On. Legal height? It's more than legal height to temporary. He put up a whole steer fence. About eight feet the extension the first. The extension first. Yeah. Yeah. So with regard to the extension request, mm -hmm. I'll move that we grant the Lombardi's. We close the hearing for the extension. Oh, we, do we? Yeah, I guess we should. What's that? We'll close the hearing for we're doing the it. extension. We're going to break the ship. Public. You don't need, it's not we don't need that for the extension. For the extension. Oh, yeah. That's just yeah. a, so with regard to the extension, I can, I'll move that we grant a six-month extension to the Lombardis. Okay, thank uh, you. For their pool uh, completion. And um, are you all in favor of that? Yeah, second. Yes. Okay. Second the motion. Second and all in favor. All right. All right. Thank you. Favor, right. <laughs> okay. Now we get to the meat of it. What a plan for the generator uh, pad, the location, and Tom's been out there as well. Um, so the pool equipment, which is situated here, was part of a... Did you get the mic and just hold it? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> People on the other end, you go. Okay, so the pool equipment, which is located here is located here because of a variance. There was an issue with one of the neighbors. The original location was going to be over here. So uh, because of the variance, we located it here. So what we did, what, what the proposed position for the generator is over here. The red, the red. Correct. Uh, the neighbor uh, that complained, I don't remember, or had an issue with the equipment. I don't recall which house it was, but it was up here on hard scrabble. So it's going to be that much further away from that neighbor where the generator will be. And your generator is going to be powered by? It's pro, there's a propane tank, 1,000 gallon tank in place here, already feeding the pool in the house, and that will also feed the generator. Right. Right. 
So it's right up abutting the property line? No, it's actually seven. This one's five feet, and then this one's actually seven, and it's written on my uh, paperwork. Okay. Um, and what type of planting which are uh, or screening is it exists now? Um, it's just most of what is that back there? It's like, uh, just natural marsh. Well, on the property now, it's been it's been redistributed as far as fill and such. We had to fill over here and things of that nature. But the landscaping plan, I don't have one. Uh, I have a. I'm, I have a conceptual plan with my landscaper, but nothing that's solidified yet, which I'm going to have want to nail down. Right or the back? I'm, I'm, all right, where's Valley Lane? No, oh, Valley Lane is over here. Dead end. Correct. Okay. This is a cul-de-sac. And that's a cul-de-sac? Correct. So you're at the end of Valley Lane. Uh, not, not, where's Hardscrabble? Hardscrabble, if you'll come out here, if you'll, come out, you'll come out Valley, right. you'll make a left, yeah. and uh, which is Worthen Way. Worthen Way. Right. You go up Worthen. And we're, 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 we're then terminates at Hardscrabble Road. And there was a neighbor on Hardscrabble that... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of houses that overlook wow. my uh, my house, yeah. But we haven't heard from any neighbors on, on this. No, I, I haven't heard anything. And I would the last time they did show up about the pool equipment, so I would assume there's no issue this time because they didn't show up for this. The quiet unit. It's one of those real liquid cooled cool unit. It's a liquid cooled unit. Mm -hmm. 1800 or 800. You could have a conversation next to it, but there's no noise. May I address the board, please? Yes. There's also an increase in developmental coverage by 36 square feet. Mm -hmm. So I don't need a variance for that. They, they do need a variance. They do need a variance. They do need a variance. For the pad, right? The concrete the pad. pad. Yeah. They're, already over. They're already over. They're at 1,145 with the proposed 36 square feet of the pad, 10,000, 10,000, excuse me, where they're allocated 7,441. Right. That was part of the extension of the pool. But that yeah. development coverage is part of the, the, the excess development coverage was part of the pool. Except the right. 36 square feet. Yeah, the, so the little to, 36 square feet is all we're talking about. Correct. Now, but do we need to, to reestablish the, the, the 2,704 overage, or how, do we gonna, how are we going to handle that? The overage is an additional 36 square feet. So that we could write our resolution saying that? We've, all, we've, we've already, already approved, approved the. We've yeah, up to right. Yeah. Okay. So, so we could just add the 36 feet. We're adding 36, 36, feet, 36 feet, to what's right. already been approved. Okay. There's, our, there's the drainage that's being. Have you heard from your neighbors on this one? No, that's what I was referring to. I would assume if they had an issue, they would be here because of uh, the right. generator. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it can't be in a better position for them if they were happy with the pool equipment here. It's even further away. <laughs> I'm going to ask the question, even though it's obvious that the answer <laughs> is like it. Is there anybody in the audience to speak to this application? The answer is no. Thank you. We had no written uh, correspondence regarding it either. Are you really okay? You okay, Mike? Yep, Maybe. all good. Okay. Moving, close the public hearing. A second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Any motion? All right. Thank you. We're, we're not done yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're not done yet. I'll take it. Um, with regard to the application of John and uh, Valeria, is Yes. Mm -hmm. Valeria Lombardi for a uh, rear yard seven foot variance and a 36 square foot coverage variance. A move that we granted for the installation of a uh, generator and for the generator. Uh, it appears that it is a good location and no neighbors have uh, sent correspondence to the board in opposition. Uh, the granting of the variance will create no undesirable change in the character of the neighborhood. There is no other feasible method other than the variance to achieve um, the benefit of putting the generator in that location. Uh, it will share uh, the gas lines with the uh, pool that's being installed or has been installed. Uh, the variance is not substantial. 
uh, and uh, granting the variance will have no adverse effect or impact on the physical or environmental conditions in the neighborhood. Um, it is self-created hardship, but it's de minimis, and for that reason, I move that we grant it six months to start, one year to finish. Okay, thank you. We need a survey for that one too, or no? Inherently, you need a survey for the first extension, so that would be included in the survey. Okay, good. I'll second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those none, you have your variance. Thank good you, luck. gentlemen. Thank you. No extensions for this one. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Um, May 29, <laughs> May 29, <laughs> meeting minutes. Uh, uh, it's free. Yes, I think you can correct in the spelling. It's correct. Okay. <laughs> Do I have any co comments on it? I move we approve them. <laughs> <laughs> it was a tough one. Uh, That's a tough one. Okay. I'll second. They're approved. All in favor of the approval, done. Okay. Adjournment is in order. I move we adjourn. I'll second. Okay. We're off. <laughs> <laughs>